early start to day five of the 2018 Silverfern Rally. We're currently in Palmerston North. The drivers are just leaving for a four hour service this morning before they head to the first stage of the day. They head up to SS29. This is quite different to the previous roads as it's sort of through farmland and uh, finishes down on the flat. As my co-driver Andrew Graves would say, the drivers are going to need to be on their game for this one. A quick tour along here. Stage 30, very uh, twisty along the ridge, dropping down to the flat. A short uh, tour to the last stage of the day, SS31. After the drivers have completed this, they return back to Palmerston North for the final service of the day. Believe it or not, there are more than just escorts in this rally. There are three German manufacturers, Volkswagen, Porsche and BMW. Hopefully we'll see the Volkswagen back today after all its issues yesterday. Oh, I've, I've had Volkswagens for years and years. That, that car was actually first registered 28 years ago uh, for, for, as a rally car. And um, the Silver Fern way back then was done and um, we thought we'd bring it out. It's different. People, I think, like that. I like it. Uh, just um, it's not going as fast as it used to. <laughs> Is that because of the driver of the car? Uh, that'll be because of the driver. Uh, the car's got a, quite a lot less power nowadays too. At the other end of the field, there's another German mark, currently in fourth. So Brad, this is really a top of the line Volkswagen. Yeah, some may say that. Um, bit of an uh, evolved uh, Volkswagen Beetle, um, like Campbell's. Um, very similar drive light and torsion bar suspension. And about this has got six cylinders versus the four of Campbell's. So. so why a Porsche and not an Escort? Really just something um, different and uh, the reliability. Being air cool, they're pretty basic. You just got oil cooling and, and that's it. We only rally it in the Silver Fern, so um, it's a proper marathon built car, so it's all built very strong and, and reliable and easy to work on. Before we go, I've just slipped down to breakfast with Matthew and Bears. Bears, you had a wee incident yesterday. Can you uh, explain what happened there? Yeah, we had a bit of an in incident. Uh, very, very slippy. Uh, coming to right five, I'd, I'd adjusted the brakes, touched the brakes and just slid off, but I wanted to get back for dinner anyway, so it weren't a problem. Matthew, after watching a bit of your onboard yesterday, I thought I'd, uh, I'd present you this for your breakfast. Matt Derrick. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I start? There was a pack of pigs. Um, yeah, we could have had some bacon with that as well. On one of the stages a couple of days ago, we came across a, I don't know, a pack, maybe eight or ten piglets. Um, stood right on our line in the middle of the track as well. Um, it, normally I don't like to slow down, but it got the better of me. And hopefully it scared them away for the next boys. 